Hi everyone and welcome back. You remember when I modeled this disk? I need now to unwrap it and uh, add a material on it, a wood material. Let's see how can I can achieve this. Let's start with the first piece, this one right here. I will hide this one temporarily and let's work with this. <clears throat> first thing we need to do, we need to switch this from image editor to UV editor and we don't need this image. I will delete this image. And there we go. Now it's blank and ready to go. Let's tap the edit mode and let's see how can we achieve this. All right. You you can unwrap it uh, in different ways and uh, and it is easy. You know something complicated. Let's start adding seam here. Let's go to the edge mode and let's pick some edges to give them a seam. For example, I can grab this edge and this one and this one and add seam right here. Go to the UV and mark seam. So I just cut this area. This one as well, I can add seam here and the same scenario here. Grab those and add the seam. Go to UV and mark seam. All right, now when I unwrap this, this one will be opened and this one will open like this as well. It will be like this. This is the idea. All right, what else we need to do here? Uh, let's split this egg and maybe those here as well. Maybe this, grab those here as well. And these edges here and those here, grab them and mark seam, right click mark seam. And we have this side. Let's supply this alone. All right, mark seam. And maybe we can grab these edges right here. And on the other side, the same thing. Mark seam. All right. And for this side, maybe we can add a seam here. Let's see how can we do this. All right, now let's see what's gonna happen if I unwrap this result. I will hit A to select everything and here on this side, I will hit U and U again to unwrap it and I will switch the method from angle to conformal. And now we got the result of unwrapping. All right, now the unwrapping is done, but I just need to make sure that uh, is this result correct? I need to examine it by adding checker, ticket here above it, just to make sure that everything is correct. To do this, I will go here and hit new to create a new image here. And here we have the dimension. I'm not going to do anything here. I'm going to hit OK. And now we have blank image right here. Open this panel and in the image section and the source, switch the switch this to generate it and use UV grid or you can use color grid. Let's stick with UV grid and now we have this UV grid. We can call this to UV just to recognize it, the image. And there we go. Now we have this checker, but we don't see the squares in a 3D viewboard. Let's go to the material review, and yet we didn't see anything. To appear this checker material or texture on the disk, we need to create a new material to the disk. So I will tap out and go to the material section. And here we have a material. If you didn't have any material, just delete it and create a new one. And here inside the base color, we just need to add uh, a texture here. So what I will do is I will open this menu and I will add image texture because I need to add an image. You can do this by adding image texture right here and pick the UV that we just created. If that's difficult for you, that's okay. You can split this window to two and switch this to 
header editor and you you should not have an image right here all what you need to do is you need to uh, hit shift a to add and go to texture and add image texture here and search for the UV and plug it and now the texture that I see right here is here as well now I can see is there any distortion is there any problem so tap the edit mode now and I will hit N to close this panel and I just need to uh, make the the square more small so I will uh, I will make the UV very big and I noticed right here in this area I have some distortion you notice that the square here is not correct so this is UV distortion here as well we have some problem here and here so we need to fix this area for this side everything is perfect and nice but on this side we have some distortion the squares goes diagonally and we don't need that so in this case <clears throat> let's go back to solid <clears throat> and let's add some seams here to fix this issue right here all right let's add one egg here one cut here and one cut here as well and let's see what's gonna happen right click mark seam all right maybe we can sublet this if we want I think that will work mark seam and for this area the same scenario here let's grab those and you can mark them as seam this one picket and right click mark it as seam and now hit a select everything and here hit U and U again to unwrap it and keep it confirm all right let's make the UV big because I need the square to be small to recognize the issues and let's go to material preview and let's check the area this again all right now it's okay it's unwrapped well we don't have any distortion now this square still tells me that the UV is correct and ready to receive any texture you can add maybe wood or iron or anything you need to add here so all right that's good news what I will do is now I will bring the folder or open the folder of the textures this is the folder and we have an image right here seamless wood and I will put it here and I will plug the color to the base color so I will ignore this just plug this with this one and this one will be deselected and now notice that the wood applied perfectly and we got very nice result here that is very nice if you want to make or manipulate the wood texture simple you can tap and manipulate the UV if you want to make it small or big that's something uh, manageable you can edit it let's uh, grab this one and let's see how can we arrive it is uh, the same scenario of the cube you just need to tap to edit mode and uh, grab the side that you want to cut maybe those here and maybe those here as well just to grab them and right click mark seam hit a select them all and here hit a in UU to unwrap them and they will be unwrapped you can give them the same material of the wood so select this go to the material open this arrow and choose the second material of the wood and that's it now the wood applied correctly and nicely done so this is how to unwrap something simple like this and there is another method of unwrapping if you like to learn them for example we we learned how to use the seam idea and there is another way to unwrap this quickly if you like what I will do now I will go to the image uh, to the object data properties and I will open the UV map and delete the UV that we just created select this and delete the UV as you see now we don't have any UV this image I will delete I don't need it from the UV editor I will tap 
to the edit mode and I will hit right click and clear all the seam these seams that we just created I will clear them all and now we don't have any seam I need to unwrap this quickly something simple like this here we have multiple option we will learn uh, the important choice that we have here one of the important most important uh, choices is a cube projection cube projection <clears throat> is one of the unwrapping method uh, this method will create uh, a big cube surrounding our design like what I'm doing right now but you don't see this cube and we will take a shot from all the side from the front and back and top and bottom and all the direction we will take uh, shots for the for the object and we will get a result right here in the UV editor let's give that a try I will go here to UV and I will hit Q projection and there we go it's arrived quickly but we got one problem here the UVs are overlapping each other you can split them if you like or you can leave them like this if you just need to add uh, a wood image for example if I bring the wood image here and if you leave this result like this there is no problem it's not a big issue you can leave it like this but if you want to sub supply them you can go to the island and select each island and hit G manually and move them like this all right until you split all the faces away like what I am doing but there is another way if you like I will hit control Z a couple time to cancel all what I did you can grab them all like this and you can go to UV and you can hit Pake Island if you hit this button this option will rearrange the islands and put them in nice uh, places inside the UV square so just I just gonna hit this and there we go now they are separated and here we have the margin if you want to make or put a distance between them and there we go now we have this result so using cube projection it is nice method and I use this a lot if I want to make a quick arabing by using this method you don't need to add a seam it will give you a very fast uh, result but it's not clean result fast but not clean because if you use the seam system you know where to put it and your result will be correct and nice but Q projection as you see gives you too much islands here this is the idea so yeah it is very nice and uh, that's it for this video and see you next